Hi makers, welcome to a new video. In this one I will show you how to make these super cool lightsaber string lights. It combines two of the best things this December, Rogue One and Christmas. Let's get started. So for this project you will need a battery holder, I'm using one with 3 AA batteries, it also has a switch, so you need 3 red, 3 green and 3 blue drinking straws. You will also need this boost converter, then you will need an Arduino, I'm using a Nano because it's small and portable. You will also need some sort of USB cable, I'm using one which is 1 meter long. I'm also using a double cord twisted wire. You can learn how to make these in a previous video. The double cord wire is also one meter long. You will need nine common anode RGB LEDs, a 33, 68 and a 100 ohm resistor. If you don't have the exact value, then you could solder two resistors in series to get the exact value. Take your USB cable and cut off the two connectors. The USB connector can be used in other projects like the mini power supply. Then remove the isolation and then the shielding wires and last but not least the foil. Leaving just the green, red, black and white wire left. Next step is to gently pull out the white wire leaving the other wires twisted. Take one of your LEDs and a 3 volt console battery, stick it down between two legs of the LED, find out which leg is the red, the green, the blue and the common. Cut off the blue and the green cathodes, repeat on two more. On the next three, cut off the blue and the red cathodes. And on the last three, cut off the red and the green cathodes. So now you should have 3 red, 3 green and 3 blue LEDs. Next, take one of your blue LEDs and stick it into one of the blue straws. Secure with hot glue. I also trimmed the small bandable part of the straw. Now repeat with the other 8 LEDs and 8 straws. Matching the colors of the LEDs with the colors of the straws. Take your modified USB cable with the 3 wires and measure out 30 centimeters. Cut, untwist them and then strip each of the wires. Take one of your red mini lightsabers and solder the red wire to the cathode of the LED. Trim off the excess wire, solder the other end of the wire to another red LED's cathode. Solder another 30 cm wire to that cathode and solder the other end to the last red LED. Solder the rest of your wire from the USB cable to the most recently added LEDs cathode. Repeat the process with the blue and the green LEDs using the green wire for the green LEDs and the black wire for the blue LEDs. Take your red LED chain and glue all the three LEDs to a table surface as shown on the video. Next. Take a ruler and measure out 10 cm from the LED which only has one wire connected to it. I used a piece of electrical tape as a temporary marking. Glue the blue LED with only one wire connected to it to the red wire at the marking. Glue the other two blue LEDs to the red wire too while holding the black wire parallel to the red wire. Next, measure out 10 cm from the first blue LED. Glue the green LED with only one wire connected to it to the black and red wire at the marking. Use the technique that you have used on the red and blue LEDs on the green ones too. Take your white wire and cut off two lengths that are slightly more than 10 cm. Strip each of the ends, solder the first three LEDs anodes together. Solder the remaining white wire to the third LED from the left. 
The next step is to take your double core wire and cut off two lengths that are slightly more than 10 cm. Separate each of the wires from each other. Take your two black wires and strip them. With the help of those wires, connect the three LEDs anodes in the middle. Take the rest of your double core wire and measure out the space between four LEDs. Cut only the red wire at the marking. Untwist the small red wire. And strip each of the ends of the long double core wire. Connect the last three LEDs anodes together with the two small red wires. Next, connect the longer black half of the double core wire to that green LEDs anode which has a black wire connected to it already. Connect the red wire to the last green LEDs anode which has a red wire connected to it. Then, fill the gaps between the anode and the cathode with hot glue on all of the LEDs to prevent the legs shorting out each other. Now it's a good idea to check if everything works properly. Take a 3 volt coin cell battery and hold the thin black wire to the battery's negative terminal. Hold the thicker black wire to the positive terminal. That's the side with the text on it. You should see that the blue LED in the middle lights up. Now hold the thick red wire to the positive terminal instead. You should see another blue LED lighting up. Attach the white wire to the positive terminal instead and this time you will see the third blue LED lighting up. Now repeat the process but instead of holding the thin black wire to the negative terminal try with the red and green. You should see each of the LEDs lighting up. Wrap the whole cable in electrical tape. Take your Arduino and plug it into the computer via a USB cable. Choose the right board and the right port in the tools menu and upload one of the codes which are provided in the description of the video. They are free to use and modify, you do whatever you want with it. Unplug the Arduino. I then trimmed the wires and separated any twisted wires. Solder the 33 ohm resistor to the thin black wire. Solder the 100 ohm resistor to the thin red wire. Solder the last resistor which is 68 ohms to the green wire. Solder the thin black wire which has the 33 ohm resistor connected to it to the digital free pin on the Arduino. Solder the green wire, which has the 68 ohm resistor connected to it, to the digital 5 pin on the Arduino. Connect the thin red wire, which has the 100 ohm resistor connected to it, to the digital pin 6 on the Arduino. Solder the white wire to digital pin 11, the thick black wire to digital 10, and the thick red wire to digital 9 on the Arduino. Take a short piece of double cord wire and solder the black wire to the ground terminal on the Arduino. Solder the red wire to voltage in, which is marked V in. Take your battery compartment box and insert three batteries. Solder the positive wire to the positive input terminal and the negative to the negative input terminal on the boost converter. Hook up a multimeter to the output terminals and adjust the voltage so it is a stable 5 volts. Solder the power in double core wires from the Arduino to the output terminals on the boost converter. Then secure everything with hot glue onto the back of the battery holder. I also isolated the top of the pins with some hot glue too. I then wrapped all of the wires with electrical tape. I then added a piece of double sided tape onto the front of the battery holder. I then wrapped the legs of the LEDs with some electrical and duct tape. You could also wrap them with aluminium tape. So now we got our handles. The last step before mounting it is to add a small length of looped wire to the other end of the LED chain. Remove the protector from the double sided tape 
and stick the battery holder onto your surface. I hooked the red wire into this chain I had. So now it's done. All you have to do now is to enjoy your custom made Christmas decoration. It can play the rhythm of for example Imperial March. The codes are provided in the description below. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I will see you next weekend with another video.